Welcome everyone to yet another Joey's Gaming section and part of the Joseph's Daily Vlog. This time is yet another uh, day after our pay-per-view event. Eh, we're going to do a recreation and see what happens in WWE 2K19 with their version. I do want to specify one thing. In the last video I made, the last WWE recreation video, when I did the money in a bank and Ali, I said, was not in the game, he actually is in the game. He just is not under just Ali. I'll, just to prove a point and to show that I did make a mistake, we're just going to pick... Uh, um, Show him right here. See, his name is uh, Mustafa Ali. See, he's not—he doesn't go by Mustafa Ali anymore. He goes by Ali. So I was looking in the A's, and I said he wasn't in it, and I picked somebody else to put in his place when I could have actually have him in the match. So, but the person who won, the fall guy, if you want to put it that way, would have been him. If Brock wasn't in the match at the last minute, so in a, in a sense, in a weird sense of it all, it would have worked out somewhat okay. So just if you want, follow my video gaming stream or the WWE recreation stream that I do, he is in the game. Anyway, we're doing WWE Super Showdown 2019. I did last year's. I think I did. I, yeah, I think I did. And this year is not any difference. We're gonna do this year and. Um, we're gonna actually do the pre-show match too. I got my laptop on down here, so if I go away from the camera, sometimes it's either because I stepped away from the room, or I'm looking down at the matches to make sure I do it in the right order. There are nine matches in total, including the pre-show match. There was ten altogether, but I cannot do the 50-man battle royale. They do not allow you to do that. Uh, the only thing you can do is a Royal Rumble, and the Royal Rumble is not the same, and you can only do 30. You can't do 15. So we are not doing that much. So let's kick things off without wasting any time. We're going to do the pre-show, which was a tag team match, and it was the Usos versus the Reviver. Revival. There we go. I, I said it the wrong way right there. I had to re uh, correct myself. And a shout out to whoever made this arena. It isn't exactly the arena that the event looks like, but it's damn close. So whoever made this arena, I did not get their name. I will have to be moving this camera up. You're checking out my Mario Brothers t-shirt right there. My Super Mario is going old school with the t-shirt today. Sky Dawson, Dash Wilder. So yeah, big shout out props to who made this arena. If you watch this stream and you look at it and you're like, hey, I made that, uh, that arena. I know that's my arena. Well, I'm giving you a shout out. It's a, it's a really good arena. Good enough to me for me to pick it and to use it in this stream, in this video that I'm putting up on YouTube. So. I try to get the closest arenas that look to be the real thing. And I know there's some things people are going to say, well, that one didn't have that. Or that event didn't have those uh, turnbuckles or the poles. Well, you know, it looked decent. It looked good. It looked pretty damn good, to be honest. That's why I'm using it. I don't just pick any arenas and just download them and just pick the first one there. I just don't know. I, I get ones that look really good to be used. Hey Corey, have you been down and not just for this stream either? I I've these been down a lot my longer than you have. Play time when I play without streaming. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 479 pounds. 
Jimmy Uso. Now, I did not watch the pre show, so I honestly did not watch this match when it was live. I did watch the event, and I'm not going to try to put any spoilers out there or anything, so I'm not going to mention who wins any matches in the game to connect to the real. It's going to be hard, though, because with me, I try to have this recreation somewhat the same as it happened in real life. Huh? So I'm going to be really hard not to um, cringe or say something like, darn, or damn, that's supposed to happen. I'm just trying to be just biased. I'm just not, not trying to be biased because I don't want uh, my viewers. And I don't want to watch it because they know I give away spoilers because I usually do this the day after the event happens. On the rare occasions I actually have done these the day before the event, or actually the day of, as a prediction video to see if what happened in the game happened in real life. So. But I haven't done one of those in a long time. I've been doing these recreation after the fact. <clears throat> Both legal men are in the ring. And set to start things off here. We're ready to go. When you're talking about Jimmy Uso, all he needs is to connect with one super kick, and that can change everything he may be down since day one ish but that kick will put you down in a second well this is the, well, the pre-show match so in the actual show event i am only a vicious knee. nine matches and i can only do eight of them which is a pretty good number i mean i'm not going to complain and you have to point out some of the things from some of the people like again. Those turnbuckles right there, those poles were not the poles that were in the event. They were regular old school steel poles. Oh, that's Ooh, the impact. Stunk, this Scott is Dawson not the place where chest. you want to underestimate your competition. Yeah, Absolutely it, it have not. No uh, LED bulbs in the front, but you know what? This 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 arena looks good. I like it. Whoever well, we made it, this might good be job. it. Oh my. Top guys doing top things. Oh, what impact! I kind of also tweaked some of the wrestlers, not this match per se. Some of the I I I, I didn't do oh, all God. of it. And the slam, like the Triple H versus Randy Orton. I actually got the cash, the outfits that. Triple H and Randy using the knee. I could have went and got Goldberg, you know, the old school gray face Goldberg, but I figured that really didn't do no, do no difference. There was real no difference in the getting the regular version that I have in the game. Beautiful technique. Or a gray version. It's really not any difference in the character that is, other than just as. Beard's gray, so I Jay Uso no is another point. WWE superstar who grew up in a family that. that's considered sports entertainment royalty. As a son of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Triple H, Jay I is even, part of the Anawaki family. Jay Uso's yeah. family tree includes okay. The Rock, Roman Reigns, and WWE Hall of Famers High Chief Peter Maivia, the Wild Samoans, and the who, mighty who Yokozuna. Match? Oh, I know who won. I'm not gonna when say, you look at the um, Anawaii family tree, you can see that Jay Uso literally grew up around greatness. Yeah, I mean, you can see that Jay is carrying on that tradition in certain maneuvers he performs in the ring Usually and specific aspects phone. of his appearance. When you're but, talking about legendary, it doesn't get much bigger than the Anawaii yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Uso learned at the feet of some of the greatest competitors this business has ever known. Jay's doing a heck of a job as a WWE superstar. Yeah, you can see Triple H's entrance. You'll see. I this hope can't be legal. I totally ruthless, so. but effective. I use there are so the many ways Jey Uso can hurt an opponent. The but the biggest threat Undertaker to a superstar just going just up against Jey Uso is the aerial assault. Jey can destroy his adversaries from the, the air arena. with ease. I know this is not a three-wheel bike. They did not add that in the game. Ooh, Probably in 2K20, I'll have that. Jey Uso tags in. If not the regular entrance. Really targeting 
the back no, on that right one. Jey Uso was looking yeah. to inflict serious harm on his Extra opponents. One of Uso's forms of attack that an opponent uh, needs to be well scouted in is right. Uso's numerous air attacks. An opponent has spiker. to keep an eye on Jey Uso when he's on the ground. Once Jay takes to the air, the anything can happen. It often does happen. A superstar has to do their homework against Jay Uso. Serious trouble. Is there anything that can be done to get back to being Jimmy the threat? Jay, His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. Yeah, he's not looking too. good, and at this point, he has no option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. But if you're counting him out now, you haven't been paying attention. He has more resolve than just about like anybody on the roster. The tags, just make sure the other season tag team can't get in. Can't get away. Yeah. He's got Dawson on the defensive here. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It looks to me like his partner's is itching to get in there. And now That's might be a good game. time to give him what he wants. Big time impact from way up high. Boom! Ooh, that was a massive I don't think this drop. is the ideal time for Jay Russo to be hamming it up like this. A quick reversal by Scott Dawson. And off the tag is Dash Wilder. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, perfect Ooh, kick. Jay Jay Uso beginning to stumble. Oh, this tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. A very crucial part in the match oh, for him man. here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. It's a nice sunny day out today. We got 80 degree weather today and tomorrow, so I'm I'm loving it. As oh boy, he is rolling. No pun. Avoids trouble there. Oh, elbow to the shot. Looks like Sky Dawson is trying to get a shot in that too. Backbreaker. Oh. Corey, that looked familiar. That's what he was looking for, Mike. We got to cover. What is keeping this competitor going? Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. The next pay per view event. I don't think Jimmy Uso has time for this year. And it's a new one. Oh, that was a double team oh, yeah. right there. He doesn't like a face dash. Jey Uso's looking to put this away. Oh, you're like a code breaker. Here's his moment, Michael. Can he do it here? And he stops the count. As I was oh, saying, here we go. Dash Wild. The next thing to do event is uh, I don't think he's WWE got a stomping ground. All new, right? Not to say it's gonna make anything different. I mean, and he breaks free just when he thought he was out of this room. Occasionally, it's just it's, it's a paper wheel event. I'm not gonna say the same thing, but it's a paper wheel event. The difference is the name. Oh, you're going up top. Uh oh. And oh, a splash. And maybe like the, the end of the line for Wilder. Jimmy Uso looking to finish this one early. The theme. And the name is and Jason so hits in the top now. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, oh chip breaking uppercut. DDT! Hey, hey, you're gonna get yourself disqualified. Nailed it. Holy cow, a whole hell's breaking what it looks like, huh? When this guy's on, look out. Of course, you want to keep Jimmy Uso out of the air, but you don't want to turn this match into a fight. The Usos grew up fighting, so Jimmy is more than comfortable throwing hands, if that's what's called. If Dash knows what's good for him, he'd cut Dash. that stuff out pretty quick. Dash is just... And it's reversed. Oh, a terrific reversal by Dash Wilder. Too quick for him there. Man, it did. Whoa, it's another I'm trying everything. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. Boom! Takes 
him down in a major way, too. Where do you think he's going? Oh, come on, ref. Yeah, you oh, he's trying to get the ropes. That's not in a match this big. Digging right. deep for Sky a kick Sky Dawson's back. He's showing oh, up here tonight with a drop. Fight. Yeah. And that's exactly what we are seeing. This might be it. Oh, my. Oh, boy, he is rolling. As Wilder has him up. Boom. Again on the nasty back. backbreaker. Wilder looking in control that here. Is a nasty Nobody backbreaker. Nobody gets up from that, Cole. Boom, what impact. Jey Uso with the tag. Well, what's going on here? For a leg. How can Scott Dawson be put on the offensive quickly here? This may very well be one of his toughest challenges in a very long time. He's looked great up until now, and it's imperative that he doesn't lose focus and let his opponent back into this match. Leg flowing. Looking for the finish. He looks for a super kick. Super kick. That yeah. should do it. This could do it. One, two, three. They did it! They won the match! And the Usos win the match for the pre-show. Whatever tag team is on the docket, the mayhem multiplies. Here's the proof. Remember this? Man, oh man, look at that! He's getting after it here. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners, Jimmy Uso and Jay Uso. Jey Uso puts the finishing touches on this one for the win. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. With that win of the books, we must now move on. Well, that was the first match, done and dusted. Next up is Baron Corbin versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship. This is the first match of the event, actually. Which was surprising to see that the Universal title match was the first match, which kind of was odd for me to know for this. It was like, wow, they're going to start things off with the Universal Championship? But because Seth Rollins was banged up, I kind of understood that because he was banged up from the Monday Night Raw prior. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. And yeah, He's I understand. It says Baghdad, Baghdad, Iraq. That's because there's no there's two things that come to Jeddah, learn about Baron Saudi Corbin. Arabia to pick from. He doesn't from like people, in the, uh, and he loves to cause chaos. Places 
some of the best observations the you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. The lone wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion. NFL offensive lineman turned champion in WWE. Here comes the Kingslayer. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. I know a little tidbit. Today's Pam's birthday. So if you follow my Seth daily vlogs. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. If you follow my daily vlogs, which got stale, I know, I stopped it, I know, go off, keep bringing it up, I know. thrives and is driven by people doubting him, by people saying that he can't do something, Rollins will do it just to silence them and smile in their face. But, yep, today is her birthday. Mm -hmm. Introducing the challenger from Kansas City, weighing in at 275 pounds, Baron Corbin. Introducing the champion from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, he is the WWE Universal Champion, Seth Rollins. Put down that remote, stay a while. See, I used to do this before streaming was around on my old wrestling games. So I used to watch people view event and then do the video game version and see Baron what Corbin happened is a Golden in Gloves the game version. Champion. And now with the this streaming ability, with the right hand, I can share with everyone. Yeah, I can do a lot of used to do it. I like doing it. I still like to do it. it. Enjoyable to watch. But it also, I was put it out there in the ether. So everyone Baron can see to be and everyone can watch and enjoy if you're into it. Yeah, Saxton, Baron Corbin does what Baron Corbin wants to do, when he wants to do it, and how he wants to do it. Tonight, he wants to beat someone up. Nailed it. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, drop kick. 
Right on the money. Oh! Oh, man. Right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. Baron Corbin looking a bit uneasy here. Ouch. Seth Rollins is looking for the decisive end. Is he done? Seth Whoa. Rollins is trying he to end it quick. It. He's at another level right now, Michael. Oh, close Oh, ball. right in the back. He wanted to get the front and didn't get the front, but he got behind the back. Huh? And so is Baron Corbin. He's trying Seth to end it quick, too. Quick both trying to end yeah, this it's going to take more than that. Real quick, huh? Oh, oh, what was that? That was one of his golden glove boxing moves, I bet. Look at to lock it in here. Look one at this. One he let it go. The other. decision there, Michael. It's like they don't know. Oh, they oh, 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 DDT. Oh, technique. Now oh. hooking him up. Face oh. Buster. And a quick kick out from Baron Corbin. Not yet. Too early. All right, I didn't face Baron Corbin. Oh, a clothesline right outside the arena. Now watch the oh, nasty impact. It looked like he wanted him to get right back oh, in this. Right oh, hit him with a big boot face. again. Keeps catching him with that big boot out of nowhere. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Somebody wound him up, and he's off and running. Here we go, back inside the ring. Baron Corbin loves to hit people. Ooh. Before entering, this could do it. And Seth Rollins with a quick kick out. Not yet. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, a oh, vicious strike. Seth Rollins in a tough spot now. You have to wonder if he could recover from this, guys. It's make or break time here. He absolutely has to find a way to get back on the offensive if he wants to win this match. Baron Corbin made waves as soon as he set foot in NXT, and that's exactly what the Lone Wolf wanted. Corbin assaulted superstars like Ty Dillinger, Neville, Kalisto, Fiend Balor, and Samoa Joe. Ooh. Corbin joined names Ooh. like Cesaro and The Big Show when he became the third winner of the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal at WrestleMania. Here we go. Ooh, what impact. That has got to be it. Gentlemen, Baron Corbin might have this one all sewn up. I think you're right, Corey. <laughs> Seth Rollins got out of dangerous path there. Great move by the architect. Schoolboy, no, nope, rolls the bat. Oh, this is his opportunity to win this thing. Seth Rollins is in position. He's going to the curb stop. Yeah, oh, neck. Gotta like the champ. Moving into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion, and an ear fall. Oh we my God, you kidding me? Tough, but I do not know how he is staying alive in this one. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Incoming. Oh, drop kick to the back of the head. Go. Oh, nasty impact. Seth freaking Rollins getting it done. He's making a statement here with this attack. Seth freaking Rollins indeed. And what a reversal from Baron Corbin. No way. That's the end of days. End their days. The title is slipping quickly into the cover with the title on the line. And the champ kicks out. I'm out. having a hard time believing that one. Well, Baron Corbin to the turbo cover off. He's tired of playing. How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me. Especially given how intense the match has been. Oh, into the turbo combo. Oh. Of extra damage. Powerbomb. Oh, All right, feet are on the ropes. His feet are on he's the ropes. Trying to use the ropes. as much from him tonight. Too close for cover. I don't know where he's finding the strength to stay in this one. This is a uh, grueling God. championship Ooh. match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Hooked up and backdrop suplex. 
Holy cow, Baron Corbin is taking another turnbuckle cover off. This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to. He's looking at it. Seth Rollins gets out of trouble and quickly. Look out, he breaks free. Great job by him there, but he's still in a tough spot, Cole. Seth Rollins playing a little head games right now. Boom, oh, oh. He takes him down in a major way, too. It's a, oh, he fixed the timber cover. I didn't even notice that the ref fixed oh, the timber cover. Right. Wow, I thought he was a guard. On that side of the arena. Harsh impact. Here it comes. He's oh, got it. In the days again. We could be seeing a new. Oh, Rollins got the the rope. Huh? This is a grueling championship match. Nobody wants to lose this opportunity. Beautiful Boom. technique. Baron Corbin is measuring. The end of the oh. The championship is in serious jeopardy, guys. The shoulders down. Championship on the line. Three. Chuck up another one. Wow. Here is your winner and the new WWE Universal Champion, Baron Corbin. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. Baron Corbin just spelled the end of days for his opponent. And the crowd here tonight still in awe over that great match. Wow. That was amazing in a sense because I didn't see that one coming. We have Andrade versus the demon Finn Balor for the Intercontinental Championship. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the Intercontinental Championship. Saxton, what do you know about being tranquilo? Tranquilo. I wouldn't qualify myself as such. I'll be right back. Andrade Cien Almas, a superstar that lives his best life, has worked incredibly hard and isn't afraid to let you know about it. Exceptional in ring IQ. He's really training to compete at the age of 13. He's really turned his career around ever since he added Zelena Vega as his business associate. Really made him refocus on the task at hand. And Corey, he's turned into one of the most aggressive superstars here today. Talk about ruthless. Talk about aggressive, nasty. 
Andrade Cien Almas is all of those things. But at the end of the day, it's all about one thing, success. Almas the real deal. Andrade Cien Almas has the skill set. He's got the IQ to back it up each and every night inside the ring. Finn Balor. do a stream, I must throw the ball. You know, I must throw the ball all the time. One-on-one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Introducing the challenger from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, weighing in at 215 pounds, Andrade Cien Almas. Making his way to the ring from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion, Finn Balor! Put down that remote and stay a while. match because this match should be pretty cool in the game. 
and we're underway. Oh. Look at these two men. I don't think there's going to be Johnny anything traditional out of the back. about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Finn Balor back, is in action, and I can see a lot of Balor Club members here tonight. Byron, could you do me a favor and point them out? I just want to know who to avoid after the show tonight. What a strike. What's this? Mention of oh. Absolute shoulders on the mat. And there's a kick out at one. Almost showing the heart that won him the NXT. Power looking to end it. Challenge is starting to roll. Well, he knew the champion wasn't going to go down easy here tonight. He just has to oh, make man. sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes momentum has a way oh, of permanently he, swinging he, he one missed. way. That's what he wants to avoid. No, it. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. That was a mistake right there, I think. That was definitely a mistake. Huh? Andrade almost into the cover, and the champ kicks out. Not yet. Definitely overzealous. The striking at will. And that one grounds him. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. That wasn't even close to three. Very All overzealous. The showing the heart that won him the NXT championship. Oh, oh there it is. Neck break after the float over. That was pretty. Destruction. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. Oh, you gotta do something to get back in this the thing. Throat. Guys, charismatic is a term that often times gets thrown around when describing superstars. And Corey, tell me, where does Finn Balor yeah. rank on the charisma scale? Well, first things first, Cole, charisma doesn't win fights. Fists do. So remember that. Secondly, Finn Balor is among the most charismatic superstars around. Period. Speaking more on charisma... I'd agree with Corey's assessment of Balor. Simply put, he always has the audience hanging on his... Uh-oh. Oh, right? In position. Look out. Here it comes. Whoa. Almost through the turnbuckle. Now that's how you make a statement. And now Finn Balor heads up. This is, up. This is where Finn is Balor's at home. It? Oh. That's how you put an exclamation. And here we go. Finn Balor with the cover. Real close. Oh, Two kicks close out. Cover. Wow. I thought for I'm sure that was it. Out. The champ to the top turnbuckle. He's going up there again. Look out. Wow. Oh, hits him with an elbow. Oh. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh. He might have it. Finn Balor, man. He is, is he really done? going at it. Trying to make Andrade top. And he escapes the submission. A good out. thing. That could have been disastrous. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Poor Karata. Andrade is really hasn't done fight. anything. Here he Oh, double knees. If that doesn't end it, I don't know, know what will. Here's the pin title on the line. And the champ kicks out. Not yet. He has him right where he wants him. Even a double on the hook. Oh, he's looking for something big. There it is. Oh. Oh. 
This is his opportunity. And Buster to Sinbauer wide open. Tumble. On the line. Yeah, champion. And the fight out. must go on. It's going to take more than that. Tough spot here for the champ. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Oh, he's such a tough target. Oh, he did see that hit. Kind of And the demons firing up. What a stomp. Good grief. Finn Balor. You gotta believe this one's over. Finn Balor, he's firing on all cylinders. Oh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And Andrade oh. almost slips out of harm's way. Close my right here. Drop kick. Drop kick. Great athleticism. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, continuing to punish them. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. New champion. Oh, how resilient was that? Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? Not today. Oh. What a Oh boy, he is rolling. Damn. Oh my god, what is it gonna him like that? It's about time, Byron, for you to coach a oh, oh, kick the back kick. of the head. Oh my. The this melee kick. Nice. Oh my goodness, oh. this hurts. Oh my, we're gonna see a new champion two in a row. He wants it one more time. Ooh, what oh. impact. Can he finish him off here? And if you thought the first one was weird. the rope. He was under the rope. He's going for it all. And Johnny's going up. He's in trouble. He's teetering on the edge here. Whoa! Oh. Yeah, oh, this is it. I was up. Byron, I think Finn Balor's due for a little target right, practice. Oh, he's not again. lying. There he comes. Oh. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. There's no way the champ can lose now. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. He's tired, but he's going to do it again. Finn Balor perched on top. Here it comes. Oh. Here's his moment, Michael. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And he got a near fall oh, out of it. Oh, my God. do that? What the hell? He kicked out of two cool draws. Oh, he's gonna go. Oh, he's too weak. And I say he's gonna go for the. He's just this one's about heart the, and determination. The will to win and leave here tonight nutty. as the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, we know more. Damn. Oh, that was up close and personal. Here's the pin. Title on the line. True testament to grit. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. Quick thinking oh. to avoid that one. Great agility. Oh, and that one God. drops him. Somebody's on a mission tonight. <laughs> Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. In WWE, oh. there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Right working with Saxon oh. at ringside. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricane Rana. This is like the match of the night right here. Deep, deep trouble here. Oh, look. Ooh, oh. When this guy's on, look out. Guillotine. Terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Oh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. 
Oh, he turns it around. What grace. Float over and go, oh, man. That oh, hurt. Float over the DDT. Close call. Oh my look God. at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oh, side of him. The head Whoa, down. down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. Oh, he's able to reverse it. How'd he do that? Looking for the finish. This puts Cole on the throat. And one more time. Beautiful Ooh. technique. Things are about as bad as they could possibly be and right now. And his hair was on the rope again. To the top. High risk. What is he going to do? Oh, he saw it. Oh! Cover with the title on the line, the champion. Andrade almost has got to like the word champion next to his name. Hey, wow. Boy. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. Look at him go. Almost forgot about this one. He's getting it done here. Can't believe he won. I can't believe he really this. put on a great show. I, I still can't give any Here's your winner and the notions new on Intercontinental Finn Balor because Finn Balor sustained a lot of damage. And he Huge had the wheel here on his hand out and he's to get the pinfall to get victory that over such a high quality Two opponent is incredibly geez. impressive, Michael. I think I can safely speak for all of us when I say that was an amazing contest. No, it was an amazing contest, that one right there. Okay, next. Now we got Shane McMahon with the Drew McIntyre versus Roman Reigns. Here comes the commission! Say no Mac. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Drew McIntyre from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds. I wonder who's life and career shades here to make miserable Shane tonight. Oh, Dark Commissioner Hothead is out of his mind. Completely unlikable. You know, guys, I talked to some of the members of the Mean Street Posse. They don't want anything to do with Shane O'Mac anymore because he's such an egomaniac.
was still competing in NXT when The Shield was running roughshod. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and this man, Roman Reigns. And we knew the future was bright, but no one quite expected Reigns to have the impact on the WWE Universe that he has since the NXT days. One of the most confident men in WWE today. You feel the aura of the arena change. The minute the opening notes of his song hit, Roman Reigns changes the feeling in the building. It's all about his yard. Plain and simple. But there's one guarantee whenever Roman Reigns enters an arena, he stirs up incredible emotion within the WWE Universe. It's all about his yard. Finally, these two are in the ring where their grudge can get settled. No more excuses. We're going to find out who the better superstar is. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually... It's hard to believe Saxton oh, gets paid for anything. Roman Reigns calls the ring his yard, and I don't expect him to give it up tonight. Well, the big dog's on the hunt, and I wouldn't want to be in his sights right now. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. respect to most about Shane McMahon guys is that he could very easily sit on the sidelines and reap the benefits of being Mr. McMahon's son but instead he chooses to prove his worth each and every time he steps into the ring delivering the shin breaker Shane McMahon with reason to be concerned Byron mentioned how Shane proves his worth by stepping into the ring, which is something I don't think a lot of executives would do, let alone go to the extreme that Shane does. Yeah, for some reason, I don't see many executives from publicly traded companies jumping through announce tables. But with Shane, that's really become commonplace. Back to the ring now. Set him up a Russian leg sweep. Man, Shane's taking a lot of damage this match. And Shane's doing some on his rights and lefts. But... Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Well, those kingy shots. Clothesline! Right in the back of the neck. Now it's Roman Reigns on his heels. I don't think he expected to be in this position Man. here. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Oh, this is all part of the process, guys. He knew he would take on some offense here tonight. He just has to make sure he keeps it to a minimum. Here's Shane McMahon into the quick cover. That was an easy kick out for Roman. Yeah, seemed to be just testing the waters a bit there. Too quick for him there. Oh, Takes him down in a major way, too. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Getting the steel chair out of the ring. Roman, Superman, oh, a Superman punch. punch. This could be it, the guys. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. the impact. He has him right where he wants him. Oh my God. Welcome, everyone, for the first out of this event. He might have it. Yeah, he's he's right over now, the spear. We'll see if he can sustain it for Holy long. Oh, elbow. Tossed. She could airline Welcome, everyone, for, for the first hour of this event. Mm -hmm. Shoulders on the back. 
And Roman Reigns powers out. Not yet. Though it wasn't mentioned early in his we WWE career, Roman Reigns comes that. from a royal bloodline in the world of sports entertainment. He's the son of WWE Hall of Famer Sika. Reigns also comes from the Anawahi family. Shane! Uh oh, are we going to see it? Are we going to see Jenna's coast to coast? Oh, he's going on that side. I'm he's having a hard partner. time figuring out what they're going to do next. Well, Roman first had dreams of dominating the gridiron after an oh, incredible yeah, college career at Georgia Tech. The gods. Sports entertainment is in his blood. This might oh, be it. coast oh, to coast. Nobody does it quite like him. Jenna's version. He's looking for the win. Not enough to end this one. Not one enough. of the best Keep athletes in the WWE down. is not going yeah, down. Like a lot more than that, Shane. Mm. I don't know what you have in yet, but let's give you another one. Close line. Oh, another not close line. Speed. Back of now yeah. that's a takedown. Oh, look at this. Locked in. Submission move here. Over the years, guys, I'd say we've come to expect Shane McMahon to do some crazy things in the ring, but I don't think anybody expected to see him leap off the top of the cell at WrestleMania 32. Oh, Jesus. Take all the wind out of you. Uh oh, we know what oh, Reigns is looking to do. Getting it going. Shane absorbing a lot. He's firing on all cylinders. Oh boy, he is rolling. Got another one. He's gonna hit another Watch one. Roman Reigns oh, putting together out of the way. Oh, what the hell is Shane doing when he got it out of the way? Close oh, line. Close right line. Right back in the back of the neck. He's, he's, he's getting it. And Roman Reigns knows how to play mind games as good as anybody. Shoulders down, this could be it. And he's able to get out. Unbelievable. Yeah, he's running hot right now, but we'll see if he can sustain it for long. Ooh. We may be looking at a power bomb here. Uh, power That's exactly bomb. what it looks like to me, Cole. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, God, he's walking with him. Bam! Oh, look at that Marco cover. Moment. Superman oh, and a punch. Superman punch. Shane absorbing a lot of punishment here. Shane McMahon's chances just went from bad to worse. Reigns has identified the target. Stand by. Oh, he reverses it again. And he goes for the pin. Yeah, I don't believe it, that he didn't win this match right there. Not even close. Boom, right across the small of the back. Nailed it. Roman Reigns oh, just too fast for him. Oh, oh what a close oh, line. Close line. Fully delivered. Oh, what impact. You can see the wear and tear that this fight has taken out of these men. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Look at this. Two. Roman Reigns oh. just too fast for him. Oh boy, he is rolling. What's he doing? Wait a minute. trying to get a count out. That's what he's trying to do, get a count out. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Shane McMahon showing supreme confidence here. Oh. Right. Impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Now he's Superman. Oh, another Superman Good punch. Night. Shane absorbing a lot of punishment here. Shane McMahon's like chances tire. just went from bad to worse. Oh, the shin breaker. Oh, oh. Shin breaker. Shane McMahon going up. Shane is going up again. I know what he's doing. Shane looking to finish. Shane oh, 
Oh, oh my God! The shooting star crushed. He had nothing left. And executed and with such again. amazing grace. And he got a near fall out of it. A huge kick out from the big dog. Let's do another one. Look at this. Oh, oh here with the elbow missed. There may be no coming back. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. One, two. I wouldn't have been surprised if that Andrew was it. Andrew wow. pulls the referee out. I believe in that one. Rain sizing up the spear. Oh, oh it hits him with the spear. In here. But can he follow up here? Certainly a risky move, Michael. He goes for the cover. One. Two and a and kick down. Kicks out as a spear. Looks to me like these superstars are running out of fumes right about now. Wow, look at the quickness by Shane McMahon. Oh, that close now. Shane's the best in the world. Boom, right across the small of the back. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's got him on his heels and shows me. Superman punch! But he's running on fumes here. Will it be? I think so. Two, three, and Reigns picks up the win. You can't help but be impressed by the big dog. Wow. That match deserves another look. Here we go. That was a good match. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Check him out here. Shane tried everything. He even hit the shooting yeah, star first. And right here, I think Roman would have had it anyway, but... And last but not least... The spear took him out, takes him out. Oh, they, no, he took out of the spear. Sorry. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns! What a back and forth battle that was. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. Okay, the next match. Uh, okay. Alright, we can do that one. It's a handicap match. One on three. Like, can't do the. It's supposed to be one on. But. Lars Sullivan versus uh, Lucha House Party. Yep, Lucha House Party. It was a handicap one on three. It was no tag, but this is the only way I can make it in the game. I can't make it out without a tag, which I wanted, but they will not allow it.
the bruising behemoth. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from the Rocky Mountains, weighing in at 303 pounds, Lars Sullivan. Take a look at the size of Lars Sullivan. Everything about the mountain man from Denver is huge, terrifying. Look at his skull, look at his fists. They don't make people like this. I have never seen anyone who just looks consistently in a foul mood like Lars Sullivan. I've never seen anyone like Lars Sullivan, period. Looks like he's ready. Oh, what's happening? Oh, my. That is a scary sight. The sinister silhouette of the human wrecking ball. All right, that is a mistake. I don't know why the heck he says money in the bank. I don't know what's going on with people Sullivan backstage. Set to dominate. Yes, I know the last pay per view of that was money in the bank, but the people in the background need to get this crap together. And his opponent, at a combined weight of 511 pounds, Kalisto Vincenzo. And Grand Metalik. Crazy man on the loose. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with a huge handicap match. And with a handicap match like this, things are bound to get out of hand. Oh, oh, man, man, right, right to the other one. Hyper wow. extend your elbow. Beautiful technique. Specifically Ooh. targeting the leg. Back to crack his leg in half. Back in the ring again. Lars down to one knee. It's common knowledge that a smaller superstar like Kalisto should be no match for some of the giants in WWE. Ooh. Should being the operative word there, Michael. We've seen Kalisto defeat big men before who should have beat him. Nailed it. Ooh. There's the tag. Sagrado. Double Irish whip. Byron mentioned how Kalisto has Ooh. wins over some of WWE's largest men, and that fact puzzles me. Simple physics tells us that Kalisto should be an easy W for the mammoths of WWE. Well, it seems like Kalisto doesn't follow the rules of physics, Corey. Oh, he missed the punch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what a forearm! That was dirty. What a stomp! Good grief! Oh, what a kick! To the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Wow, look at that combination punch. In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. 
The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it was almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan, Braun Strowman, absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. What we saw in that match from Braun Strowman was almost like witnessing a massacre right in front of our eyes. One of the competitors just sprinted out of the ring. In handicap matches, what would be challenging for another superstar is done with little to no effort from the monster among men. This is a type of power we've never experienced before. Who's Graham Metalik? Boom! Oh, what impact! He's playing with him now. Around the waist. Boom! Oh. Oh. Spine buster! Penny predicament. A kick out after one. Not yet. Right to the face. He's on the defensive here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. He may very well find himself on the wrong end of this decision if he doesn't come up with something quickly. Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there is one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. Here comes Lars Sullivan. Oh, you've got the bison. Is he done? Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman in Fastlane. The big dog never Ooh. rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power determination and ability of great job escaping trying to turn this thing around we've seen handicap matches throughout wwe history what the heck oh what is he doing oh man you with your house party gonna fly this is awesome this thing how is holy cow this might be it oh my can he finish the job no matter what era of wwe history we look at or if we're talking about present day the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors of all. Oh. If you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business, rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. Oh, oh, right he can't be feeling good right now. It's about as bad as it gets for him. Guys, I don't think he oh, possesses right the ruthlessness right. needed to be successful outside of the ring, which really begs the question why he's been out there so much. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out of his misery sooner than later. Wow. A handicap match is that the type of match where a superstar or superstars Lars is square up against respective opponents. I kind of want to have a numerical man. advantage against the other. This could be a singles I match or a tag team happen. match. And as we've why. seen through history, can include. Any wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, shit. Bonnie dodges out of the way. Grand Metalik's going for it. Oh, oh. Samoan driver. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Handicap matches have been all good things must come to an end, but I wish that match could have gone on a little longer. Wow. No doubt it was a good one. Here's another look. He ain't messing around. Oh, I can't believe this. He's lucky he got in the ring, eh? Because it was at the 9, and it was 10 coming He's right around after it here. And Lars was going to win then. 
every single minute of this one was memorable. I guess they always couldn't kick out of this move, though. I mean, come on, look at that. That, that was no damaging that Lars could kick out of that. Here are Lucha your House winners, Jalisco, Vincent Romano, and Grand Metalik. Grand Metalik. That's, Metalik. That's a big pinfall win right there. This was all about one competitor's refusal to lose. When you see that, you have no choice but to respect it. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow. Okay, the next match. Okay, cool. We're getting up to some of the good matches now. No, 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 no. It's nighttime. It's nighttime by the time that matches. Now, which one is it? Is it? No, not that one. Okay, we're going to try it out. He's got some gray in his beard there. Three matches left uh, besides this one. This is the fourth match. We've done one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth match. Let's see how she plays his interest is with this. WWE's Apex Predator. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds. He is the Apex Predator. The Viper, Randy Orton. Randy Orton began his career by being known as the legend killer. Randy Orton is now simply a legend. And the Viper has shown no signs of slowing down. Just as dangerous now as the day he burst on the scene. Randy Orton's career wasn't built on alliances. The most important thing to Randy Orton has been winning championships. Let's see now. And his opponent from Ladies Greenwich, and gentlemen, it's now time for one on one action. It might go south to me like this crowd pounds. already picked the, the one who they want to win this Triple match. H. Oh, the hood's not going to come off, is it?
This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. Randy Orton has over 15 years of experience in WWE, and he hasn't slowed down a step. Yeah, if anything, the Vipers become even more proficient with that devastating RKO. left for Randy Orton to conquer, but he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Torture your opponent's neck. I like it. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win and true to Orton form, it came Ooh. out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. Oh, nasty impact. You've got to believe this one's over. It's Mark. What is Randy Orton's best strategy at this point? He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. That confidence he had on his face at the start of this match sure has disappeared, and with good reason. He's taken quite a beating. In a back and forth match like this, he has to do everything in his power not to let his opponent. That's it, Randy Orton. He's looking good now, guys. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. What's he going to do next? Cover here. And the kick out. Tried for it early. Oh boy, he is rolling. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Oh, Down. Like being manhandled by a bear. So impressive. Like being manhandled by a bear. What? Triple <laughs> H has done it. Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Are you kidding me? Man, this was great. No, it wasn't. You're going to tell me a spy buster takes out Randy Orton? I was just waiting for one of these epic matches with the he RKO. Ain't around. And then all the RKO, pedigree. You get none of that. Whoa. 
and this is how he ended it. That's it. That's how it ended. Here is your winner, the game, Triple H. And Triple H, very impressive, guys. Hard for the course when you're the game. Triple H remains the king of kings with that big win. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a win this was. Simply amazing. Wow. Oh, we're just rolling on past and up fast, aren't we, with these matches? Yep. Now we got Bobby Lashley versus Braun Strowman. And then after this, we got the Kofi Kingston versus uh, Dolph Ziggler for the WWE Championship. And then the main event, Undertaker versus Goldberg. impressive athletes ever to step foot in a WWE ring. A successful mixed martial artist, Lashley is finally back where he belongs in WWE. Well, to that point, Corey, this is a man of Bobby Lashley who spent 10 years away from WWE, but he had unfinished business. He felt like he had more he wanted to accomplish, and so far, Bobby Lashley is on the track to do just that. Batten down the hatches. Here comes the monster of my men. And his opponent, weighing in at 385 pounds, Ron Strowman. The earth is trembling with each step. I would do anything not to get stuck inside the ring with Braun Strowman. Oh, uh, Byron, I would pay all of my bank account to watch you get these hands. Not quite. What's yeah, going to hear you? Yeah, you start to feel yeah. like there's nothing Braun Strowman can't do. Well, there is one thing we know for a fact Braun Strowman can't do, and that is be stopped. The monster among men is unbelievable. And we're underway. Oh, Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. And it looks to me like this entire arena is on its feet, and understandably so. Well, nasty fall. I still can't believe the Triple H versus Randy Orton match was wow, that fast. Good night. Nailed it. He's starting to feel it here. Well, 
Oh, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. Not the uh -oh. Oof! Harsh impact. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Again, I still can't believe that Triple H versus Randy Orton match. I was wanting that match to go on for a bit. No, he reverses it. But Triple H is old. Whoa, so. Strowman dodged that one. That's probably why he didn't go for long. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Braun Strowman faltering some. He's going to want to make sure this doesn't snowball out of control. Hey, yeah. you're going to absorb some punishment in a wrestling match. It just goes along with the territory, and he knows that. I doubt he's all that concerned at this point. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. Ooh, what impact! technique. Nobody hey, controls yeah. the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's looking at it. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely wow. done. Truly devastating, Cole. I don't, I don't know what's going on with this event. This could be it. This battle's not over yet. Not oh, yet. It's so good. Not so fast. He's making a statement here with this attack. Powerbomb his ass. Gotta make a move here. Yeah, the longer this goes on, the greater the chance of escape. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Oh, hit to the face, we can go down again. And here we go now, elbow drop! Bobby Lashley, I think, is going to win this match. you got to believe the way, the way will this speed up. No trouble getting out of that one. Not yet. I want to move for it. It didn't win. Be it happen in real life. Be it didn't happen in real life. Ooh, that's the that happening. <laughs> Arnie dodges out of the way. I, for one, do not like Bobby Lashley. He is a good wrestler. I have to give him that. He is a powerhouse. Boom! <laughs> nice. Shut it down. Slam down hard. Incredible. Always nice when a plan starts coming together. He's always had the ability to take it up a notch. Strowman here. Oh, what the heck? He reversed it. Oh, oh. Going for the big one. Oh, my. Oh, what oh. I don't remember the last time I saw Strowman manhandled like this. I think Strowman just got killed. Attempt. Two! And he got a near fall. Oh, out he of kicked it. out. Yeah, but he's hurt, guys. <laughs> we Maui Wowie. What is he doing? These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? This might be it! Oh my! He's fading oh fast. He might just have nothing left to give, guys. The damage has been done, guys. I don't see how he can possibly recover from this beating he's taken. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Trying to choke him out. Harsh impact! I 
I guess they're trying to make this match and make up for the. I'll tell you what. Randy Orton this is Triple one they'll be match. talking about tomorrow at work or school, that's for sure. Because. I'm going to talk. Oh, Take this is down I'm going to talk about that last for a while, kind of how fast it was. Because that match is way faster than I thought it would be. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's got to hurry if he doesn't want to get counted out here. Time's certainly not on his side, Michael. He wants no part of the outside. He wants to beat him in the ring. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh, not again. He's got him with that. He's showing everybody he can hold him up. And Tell everybody and then Ron's drop him down. Vertical suplex. Nicely done. But can he follow up here? I don't the think so. Are down. Two. True oh, testament to the again. Good. Only a monster on. would kick out there. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, spear. Oh, and a terrific reversal and by Ron Frog. It was like he watched Shane. Headbutt! Headbutt! Impact. And here's the monster along that. Corey, look at the power! Oh, oh hellacious power slam. To think, what I almost wrote him off earlier. That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Don't tell me his foot was on the rope, because I didn't see that. just barely got out of the way. And set him up. Oh, and Braun Strowman's definitely doing what he can to get the psychological edge. The psychological edge, yeah, I know, right? Oh, that might have just broken something. Oh, what a slam. Strong is weak to hit. Ooh, Ooh. Clearly targeting the shoulder. Comes up big with the reversal. Looks like both these superstars have found that little extra something to keep themselves going here tonight. Wow. That's how you wear down your opponent. You gotta believe this one's over. That should do it right there. Somehow, oh, only a monster would kick out there. When this guy's on, look out. Braun Strowman doing a great job of turning that around. Got the reversal. Dodge that one. Lightning oh. fetters the reflexes. The counters. Ashley the counters. just barely got out of the way. Oh boy, he is rolling. Here he goes. Another one. Another one. Nicely done. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Braun Strowman, man, it's like a monster. What's coming here? Thunderous slam. 
This is his opportunity to win this thing. And the cover for the win! Two, three! There's the pin. It's over. It's all over. These gentlemen get after it. Here are the highlights. Check them out here. I remember this part very well. He's getting it done here. And so it goes. Here is your winner, Ron Strowman. What a grueling match. It looked like anybody's match there toward the end. Great effort from both these guys, Michael. I'm willing to bet this isn't the last time we see them square off. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match. Okay, Dolph Ziggler versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship. Mm. Still can't believe that one match. Couple of moves and it was over. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. No more showing off. It's all business now for Dolph. You know, Dolph Ziggler has twice been the sole survivor at Survivor Series. Well, sometimes you forget just how much Dolph Ziggler has really accomplished in WWE. But this is a superstar who has stood the test of time.
Think about moving, you better apologize. Man, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Ziggler is here to show the world just how good he is, and he's ready to steal the show. Yeah, well, it's that attitude that gives him the moniker of the show-off, but you've got to respect the guy who isn't afraid to lay it all on the line and bet on himself. Ring rally! Oh, oh nasty impact. Look at that. Oh, goodness. Jam your leg in a bad way. Boom, impact. This might be it. Oh, my. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. That one oh. fails to connect. Great idea by him. Too bad it was awfully executed, though. Xavier Woods. Executed. Dolph Ziggler often steals his show, but his biggest heist may have been when he became Mr. Money in the Bank. That Ooh. victory undoubtedly started He's Ziggler down the road up. that not many have traveled, ultimately culminating with a successful cash-in the night after WrestleMania 29. Look at that tremendous ring presence. Very impressive. You guys mentioned Ziggler successfully cashing in his Money in the Bank contract. It also happened in front of one of the most raucous crowds you will ever see as New Jersey hosted the Raw after WrestleMania. Well, there's something special about the night after WrestleMania, Corey, and there's a pin now. And the champ kicks out. Kingston has come too far to let something like that take him out. The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. Yeah. But he certainly comes into this championship match with a ton of momentum. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected. Oh. Especially considering who he's in the ring with. He seems more motivated than ever heading into this match, which he's makes me think me. he still has plenty of fight left in him. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Oh. Guys, I can't help but be reminded of when Dolph Ziggler first arrived on the scene and introduced himself before every match. I think it's fair to say everybody knows who Dolph Ziggler is now, though. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Xavier Woods puts Horn down. At least he won't get that anymore. 
Oh. Looks like the champ is starting to crack. Oh. He's always ready for a fight and has seen his fair share of wars in WWE. This championship match is just another day at the office. As Michael alluded to, Dolph Ziggler has gone from introducing oh. himself to making his name known. And Corey Ziggler earned that reputation by beating some of sports entertainment's biggest names. You're right, Byron. Think about it. Edge, The Miz, Randy Orton. Heck, Ziggler even rid WWE of the authority when he was the sole survivor at the 2014 Survivor Series. He wants no part of the outside. Vintage Ziggler. When locking up with Kofi Kingston, an opponent must find a way to keep this man grounded. Kofi leaves his feet. You're in trouble because anything can happen. Leapfrog. Drop down. Beautiful oh, technique. Corey, you're absolutely right. It's imperative for Kofi Kingston's. What's Kofi going to do? Beautiful oh. monkey flip. Follows up with a cross body. Oh. Kofi's on fire. Can he finish the job? Not much behind that pin attempt. Uh-uh. No question, he's found a burst. Right, from Charles Paradise. Counter here. Oh, reversed it. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. Drop kick. Beautiful. The first time Kofi Kingston took flight on cable television was in 2008 oh. as part of WWE's relaunch of ECW. Eventually, Kingston soared on Monday Night Raw and held Intercontinental and World Tag Team Championship gold. Oh, and he reverses it. Ooh, what impact. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. Earlier, Corey, you mentioned Kofi's title. Oh, I should also go. point out he was United Bruce States Ziggler champion after a bit. Dolph Ziggler's going, takes it. Oh, just when you thought he had nothing. The shoulders are down. Barely at two and a half. And kicks Kofi out. kicks out. The power of positivity keeps <laughs> Kingston alive in this match. The power of positivity. He's too quick for him there. Oh, a dump outside the ring again. Given the oh, oh he missed it. Man. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy, he is rolling. Kofi Kingston's arm is twitching there. Look at that. Famous sir. Famous sir. Come on, Kofi. And a kick to the go, back man. of the head. Oh. oh. the heck? I think he slipped off the... The WWE Championship is on the line. Head, this may very well be it. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Even now, Kobe Kingston finds the strength to power out. Incredible. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He feeds off adrenaline. He feeds off emotion. Oh, continuing to punish them. When this guy's on, look out. Oh, nasty impact. There's the monkey. Oh, what a crossbody by Kofi. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Oh, so uh, welcome to Welcome to the second, the last second hour of the match. This he event. For it once oh, it is. zigzag again. again. That has got to be. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. Two champion. Three. Referee is calling for the bell. The match is over. We got our money's worth with that one. Take a look. That would have probably happened if Xavier Woods did not, did not interfere. This was another great moment. Two zigzags. Two zigzags and Kofi cannot. Look at him go. 
get up. Plus, a famous this arm. out. Right there, that was an accident. That was definitely an accident. You can see when he swooped over him, he slipped off his hair probably. But he just went for a cover anyway because he figured, what the heck? Huh? No doubt about it. He brought his A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner and the new WWE Champion, Dolph Ziggler. Going to feel the effects of this win for a while. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. And now for the main event. I think this event is the shortest event out of all the ones I've ever streamed because we only had two hours. champion oh and by the way a wwe universal champion a man that does not get paid by the hour personify by the hour that is goldberg his way toward the ring to continue his quarter century of taking souls and digging holes for WWE superstars. I can't imagine what it must be like to be inside the ring 
and watch The Undertaker slowly walk toward battle. and decades of dominance. He's held dozens of championships, competed in countless main events, and owns the greatest streak in WWE history. The Undertaker is here. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Jaw-shattering boot. Oh, impactful slam. Boom, what impact. I can almost guarantee this guy is probably better than the real one if you watch that man. What a stomp. Good grief. Elbow drop with authority. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh man, right to the neck. Oh, he's working over him. Beautiful technique. Looks like he's starting to sweat now. Trying he's to go down. Down. Okay. He got body on body there, but that's about it. Wow. Oh, around the ring. Undertaker looking mortal here. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Sure, he's taking some punishment here, but given how much he prefers to be on the outside of the ring, he can very well change the outlook of the match with one shot. Heavy-duty right hand. Six. Bringing it back into the ring. What a stomp! Good grief! Axe handle finds its target. Double underhook suplex! And Goldberg with the early cover. And he doesn't stay down for long. Too soon. And look at the front. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Oh boy, he is rolling. The Undertaker in a very unfavorable position here. He came into this match looking for a fight, and it looks like he found one. The amount of punishment he's observed in this match is absolutely insane. Spear! Spear! He's back in control here. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. What the heck? Oh! Impact. 
Here it comes. He's got him. Goldberg possesses immeasurable intent. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. He's making a statement here with this attack. Not so fast. Goldberg with a spear. Oh, no spear. Here's his moment, Michael. He's got him covered. And that was There's the pinfall and the victory. What the heck? Let's take um, another look at these guys getting after it. He ain't playing here. <laughs> wow. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. Who could forget this? He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here is your winner, Goldberg! That was a big pinfall victory right there. When you get a one-on-one -on -one match like that, you hate to see one of them come up short. But that's just the harsh reality of it. The arena is still buzzing over that great match. Well, I hope you all enjoy. Stay tuned for the next uh, pay-per-view event, which is WWE Stopping Grounds. I'm Joey, and I see you in the next video.